It stopped raining for a minute. Two minutes. I've got a problem. Uh, about two or three weeks ago, we had these um, hydraulic oil filters replaced because one of them was leaking. Uh, so we, we replaced both of them. But I just noticed when I was mucking out the bottom shed back of the barn just now that um, I was dribbling oil. So I stopped and had a look. And this fella is absolutely throwing it out. Now the filter, I can't move it. I've got all of my hands now. I can't move it. So I'm assuming the seal is damaged. Um, and I think that was the problem with the last filter. So I'm not having a go at Donaldson filters, but um, whether it's the design of the rubber seal or the design of the hydraulic system, or whether it's bad rubber or just poor manufacturing, I don't know, but that's two filters out of the last four that have failed. And the problem is everything on this machine runs on hydraulics, everything. Um, so if that's throwing oil out, that's, that's an issue. Anyway, so I've rung, rung my engineer. He uttered a short cuss word under his breath and said, right, okay, I'll come down in the morning and see what we can sort out. I doubt very much he's got any of those filters, but hopefully he has, and he can replace that one. But uh, yeah, this is an issue. So I was on my routine of cleaning out and feeding. So I've managed to get that bottom yard scraped clean. I've got two new bales in the uh, feeder down there. So we do at least have grub for at least a day. I just dipped the oil, um, still way above minimum, and I'm just thinking whether I just hedge my bets, put a bale in there. Um, I wanted to scrape out and put a fresh chip bed in here, but I think what we might do is forget the scraping out um, and just maybe bring a silage bale in and roll it what I can, so at least they've got a, a clean, dry bed, because We've got a lot of young calves, and last thing I want is a lot of young calves on a wet, mucky bed. So, but this yard's not going to get done. Well, not today. Maybe if we get it fixed, maybe tomorrow. But it's times like this when you realise how much you rely on a machine. Um, all right, she's, uh, what, 16 years old this year, so it's getting a bit, but actually, mechanically, Nothing wrong with it. All this issue is, is with a dodgy filter. I can't blame the machine for that. Uh, the occasional electrical glitch. Hopefully one day we'll find that, but it's not stopping me. It just slows me down a little bit sometimes. <coughs> sorry, don't make you jump. I'm oh, sorry. He shot out of his skin when I copped it. Right. Well, it ain't going to get done, me looking at it and talking about it, is it? Oh, that's Angela, by the way. Hello, Angela. Hello, Angela. Yeah, your namesake was. I don't know where you were or how you were doing, but you're doing okay, ain't you? Yeah. She said, hi, Angela. Oh. 
Look, I just put that in there fresh. Why have you got to dig it up? That's to lie on, not to dig up. Pack it in. Stop it. Don't dig it up. I know the second my back's turned. She did it. As soon as I turned my head, she think did it again. Oh good. Here it comes again. Less than half a bale, but it'll do for tonight. I knew that was going to happen. I'll come back for that bit. And that bit. Just gonna be one of those days. Just gotta breathe, <sighs> let it wash over. Tomorrow's another day. Actually, smells quite nice. I know, this is our way to do it, but these must. Sun shining, but it's still raining. 
just can't make his mind up, can it? Right, well, we're getting pretty slowly. This is a bit, a bit faust in the middle of here, so I've got to watch out for that. I'm watching the dust, which way the wind has pushed the dust, because I'm puffing and blowing doing this. I don't really want to be breathing that crap in, because it won't do me any good. I heard a little bit of a skirmish and a jump. I don't know now why. Looks like you've got her too. Good man. More calves for next year. Right, okay, so I could spread that a bit thinner, but I have noticed that at night, I'm gonna look at my bedroom window, because I can see straight in here from my bedroom window. And the rifle scope is quite handy for that. So uh, I have noticed that when they're lying down, most of them go up that end. They're sort of like clumps together up there, so that's where I want to lie down. That's where I put most of the bed. Okay, I'll shut that door. Open that gate. Go on, latch. That's got it. Now oh, that was a problem. Lump of shh. Betty. All right, you lot. You can come back in now. Safest place for me when they're kicking around and being. That's it. You crap on it. Wonderful. Yeah, safest place for me is in here because when they start that, sometimes it's infectious and they all kick off. Mmm, yummy. Is that nice work it is? It's only three years old. Mmm. Yeah, it is a bit dusty. Maybe cough too. Yeah, that's deleting it. You wouldn't believe it, would you? I put three fresh bales of last year's hay. So nice fresh hay, I put that out there. And they come here and they're tucking into three year old haylage. Which don't smell bad, but this bale's been open for ten days. Two weeks. It was quite warm in the middle and going fasty. And yet they're still, that was right at the middle. What they're on now is right at the middle of it. That was, that's warm. And delicious. No kinds of a taste, I suppose. Right. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, it's not a perfect end of the day. I haven't got the yards mucked out. I haven't had I haven't mucked this out properly. It's now going to be harder to muck out because of this in here. I'll have to drag all this out in two days' time. But they have at least got a dry, clean bed for tonight. Well, it won't stay clean for long if they keep doing that on it. That's just what they do. I clean it, they crap on it. 
just cut off.